Hey everybody, it's Simi here with Aim High Pressure Wash coming at you with the latest video on the Mega Rig. Uh, before I get started, I want to give thanks to uh, God in heaven who has blessed me with, um, you know, just a creative mind, um, a wonderful wife, great family. And I just want to, you know, before I show you guys this new trailer that I've been waiting for for so long, it's right here on the other side of this camera. Um, I just have to give recognition, like I said, to God first, my wife, and you know, and also my kids. They have been um, really good. They're, you know, great kids. Um, I'm not always able to be home and be with them like I really want to. And because of the dream that I have and the lifestyle that I want to give to them, um, it takes time away from being home. So I just, like I said, want to give uh, thanks to uh, them, recognize them before I show you guys this trailer. Get ready to check it out. It's done. It is done. This is a PJ trailer, 26 foot, 25,000 GBW. So, um, yes, I have a CDL. I have my CDL license. Yes, I have my CDL license. I can drive this thing. It's not a problem. I had two other gooseneck trailers before, 40 footers. So yeah, anyway, where do we want to start? We want to start at the back. This trailer is about nine, or excuse me, yeah, about 95% done. And let's, let's see why it's not completely done, all right? On the back, we have four Titan 18 inch hose reels. You should be looking at six electric hose reels, but those things are hard to, hard to get. They've been on back order for a minute. So I had these uh, laying around for a while. Soon as my electrics come in, uh, you will be looking at six electric hose, uh, hose reels, all right? Those two tanks behind the hose reels are both 200 gallons each. The one on the left is for uh, acid removal. The one on the right will be for bleach. These are two 925 gallon water tanks. First question, Simeon, why do you need so much, so much water? Sometimes when you get to a job, most of the work I do is commercial. And there are times when you get to a job and you have to park right by the job in order to, you know, fill up. Or you have to park as close as your water holes will reach. You know, because I have so much water to start with, I'm able to do quite a bit of uh, work and start filling those tanks up. So... You know, those are uh, those tanks right there. They're 10 gallons a minute at 3000 PSI. You go through a lot of water and actually I'm going to eventually add two more cold water machines um, on this trailer. So it's going to be four 10 gallon a minute machines going all at once. So got to have as much water as you can. Nevertheless, that's why I have that. This here, this uh, manifold here is for it's a selector on which tank I want to fill. Do I want to fill the single 125 gallon tank uh, I have, or do I want to fill those two 925 gallon um, water tanks? Right here is my 12 volt pump. What are these things? 5.3, 5.5, .5, they're 5 point something. Anyway, I love the, uh, I love the electric pumps. I love the electric pumps. All right, I'm gonna just walk around. This. I don't feel like putting that on. This here is my dump. When I get ready to, uh, if there's, for whatever reason, I don't need as much water or we're done, I don't want to travel with the, all the water that I have, I come over here, turn, open that up. That water is dumping. Um, yeah, it's dumping fast. These are my Landas. My Landa machines, I love them. You guys know I've had them for years. I love the I love the Landa machines. I think they're great. Ten gallons a minute at three thousand psi. Right there is just an extra tank. I had it, so I said, well, you know, why not use it? Make it make it work. One hundred and twenty-five gallon water tank. All of my tanks are plumbed into uh, the machine, and I'll show you guys how I select which tank I want to draw from because they're not. Um, tied in 
together, they're individually tied into the machine. So I can pull from this tank, I can pull from that tank, or I can pull from that tank. All right. This here is my generator. It's a cat generator. Love it. Great. I use it actually to put all my hoses and stuff on. You know, that's why I have the generator, just in case I need to get out the heat gun, you know, do a repair. I can do that. That is a 60 gallon fuel tank right there. I mean, I do quite a bit of work. I don't like having to go to the gas station every day or whatever to um, get gas, go there, fill that thing up, and it's gonna last me a while. All right, we'll see how long it actually lasts me. My other one that I had was 25 gallon. It seemed like I was still going to the gas station, you know, every other day. So hopefully this one here will last me, you know, every other other day all right all right so anyway this here is the uh that uh tank for um acid for rust stains you know it's the, uh oxalic acid i put in there i have another valve for water so all i gotta do let's see turn it turn it this way and i'm filling up either one of those two big tanks turn it back this way and it's filling up this tank, uh, that small 125 gallon tank, the hose that's sitting all by itself is for the tank that's sitting all by itself. I use two inch um, feed line um, for everything up until it gets to the manifold, which is on the inside of the, uh, in between those two machines. Um, this here is a selector for which tank I want to pull from when it's pointed like this to the back is pulling from that tank when it points towards this way is pulling from that tank so a very it's very easy for me to know which tank i want to pull from when i want to pull from the um 125 gallon tank that is up front all i have to do is come over here turn this off now all the water is, is shut off all it's done and then we'll come over here to this one Open it up, now, that's it, that quick. All right, so that's how that works. Simeon, why do you have two banjo filters on? Why do you have two of these? There are times when I am working, um, and it, it's not often because it, you know, I have filters of the water going in, but sometimes dirt gets in the, um, they get in the line. These are two filters. So as soon as I start filling my pressure washers, it starts to feel like a, a machine gun and starts to vibrate, pulsate, all that, because there's more than likely dirt in the line. All I have to do is stop the flow from going this way, oh, stop the flow from going this way and make it go. Now it goes this way. It flows in. All right. So that's why I do that. So I don't have to actually stop, clean the field, take the filter out and start, um, you know, and stop working. I mean, it's a very easy fix. I mean, it literally takes half a second. All right, and I'm I'm back at it. All right, here, got another dump. Got to dump on uh, both sides of the trailer. Why not? All right, so that's how we do that. This here, this valve here is a bypass. I have three tanks, I can bypass which tank I'm pulling from, all right? Um, real quick, I wanna get off the, I wanna talk about something. Guys, plumbing is custom. You can have two homes built side by side and they'll have different type of plumbing, all right? So plumbing doesn't have to be a particular way and I'm gonna make a video talking about plumbing because I see guys doing their plumbing wrong. Um, excuse me, I shouldn't say wrong, they can they can do it better. We'll just say that it, it can be done better. So we'll I mean I'll make a video talking about plumbing and how you how I would you know plumb it if I was uh you know if I was them or doing another trailer. All right, so another Landa SLT, another eye wash slash hand wash station. All right, turn this off. Uh, there we go. 125 gallon water tank. 
my Contico storage. I mean, these boxes are, God, I love those things. Those things are great. Yeah, those things are great. Yeah, but this is it. I mean, this is a nice trailer. It took me about, um, yeah, about a week to put all this, to put all this on. Simeon, who did your trailer? That hand and that hand, everything you see. Guys, I've been doing this since, um, what, for, for 22 years. So uh, this really isn't hard, you know, if you're serious about pressure washing guys, you know, and you, this is something that you want to do, dream big. Do not let anyone tell you that you cannot do something. You can do it. Just dream it and start it. You know, I mean, this trailer, you know, I've always wanted a, a big pressure wash trailer. I thought the other one was big. People would tell me, man, that's the biggest trailer I've ever seen. Now they have to see this one. Guys, go out there and make make your dreams happen. Take care of your family. You know, so you can help other people. You can't help nobody if you if you don't have the the means to, you know, starting with yourself. So, make your dream big. My dreams are big because of the people that rely on me. My wife, my kids. They rely on me. So I have to dream big. Don't dream, don't dream small. All right, guys, but this is it. I hope you guys love the trailer. Um, I'll make another uh, video in detail just a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you this. I don't want to bore you with a whole uh, video. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to me, May 1st. I'm out of here, guys. All right, have a good one. Yep.